Hello everyone, uh, I'm here at the, the lovely background that you can see, the Bonsai Nursery, um, and I'm waiting for the master to come back because I actually have to ask him something and he's not here. So while I wait for him, I thought I'd make this video. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about the uh, certification in Korea for uh, the bonsai and how that works. Well, today I'm going to tell you how you can be a bonsai master. Oh, charming, right? Uh, it's not that easy, first of all. There's a few things that you need to uh, know and kind of start off with. Uh, in my case, I... Yeah. Right. yeah, sorry. I had to cut the previous video because I got called and, and actually the master was having his uh, car serviced, so I had to go pick him up. That's why the video cut out, but uh, I have some time today because I just had exams that finished and the students have left. So I'm going to uh, continue with yesterday's video and I'm sorry that I'm not looking as dashing as yesterday but you know you can't do everything every day um, so basically if you want to study in Asia there are different paths you can take now I'm not too familiar well, perfectly familiar shall I say with the Japanese system because it is a little bit different to uh, the Korean system so if you want to find out more about the Japanese system you had better look up uh, videos by Bjorn yes Bjorn with your J that sounds like a Y what's with that um, and uh, or, or Neil because they know obviously much more than I do about that area of things anyway I'm going to talk about mostly Korea uh, there are official exams obviously in Japan and there are also official bonsai exams in Korea. Now, uh, there are bonsai schools in Korea too, but not all of them are the best of quality. It depends where you're going to go. Uh, I must stress that in Korea, the only nationally recognized, that is by the government, so you could say accredited, in a Western sense, although it's it's a slightly different system. But anyway, the only accredited uh, entity that can give certification in bonsai in Korea is the uh, Korea Bonsai Cooperative, also known as the Korea Bonsai Association. So if there's a qualification from a school or somewhere like that, it doesn't really have any technical value right um, it needs to go through the bonsai association so keep that in mind the first step of course uh, is to know the language whether you're going to go to Japan whether you're going to go to Korea whether you're going to go to um, Taiwan or China somewhere like that uh, you really need to know at least the basics of the local language now, the reason for that is a lot of bonsai masters, they've been busy doing bonsai all the time, and therefore a lot of them, they don't speak English or French or German or whatever you speak, right? So you should be able to speak the language to a certain degree. Now, there's a reason for that. The reason for that is apprentices or apprenticeships are really as hard to come by as going to the beach and trying to find a pearl not particularly easy it's not impossible but you need to know where to look and for that you really need to have language skills also when you find someone that would potentially be willing to teach you you need to be able to communicate with them and convince them now there are different uh, there are different uh, levels in Korea or different ways shall I say of doing it the first way is the easiest way and that's to go to one of those schools and pay money 
and hopefully they will teach you the proper way. That's the easiest way, but personally, not the, not the most desirable way, in my opinion, anyway, but that's just my opinion. Uh, then there's the second way, which is to get an apprenticeship. Now, apprenticeship, you work and you're paid with, uh, by the master, working with the master. That's very hard to come by. Something else that might be possible, which was my case, which is a little bit unique, is you can be taken on as a disciple. Now, if you're taken on as a, as a disciple, it means that uh, you won't get paid, but you'll be taught for free, and you get to work on some cool trees. So, uh, that's, that's really cool. Um, you see, I teach at a university. That means that I have some time, so I could allocate my time between my wife and my university work and then bonsai as well. Uh, so the Korean system is after three years you can sit for the apprentice level test and uh, that gives you the ability basically to find work as a potential apprentice though it's not easy to find even if you have that. Um, then after six years, as is in my case, you can sit for the higher level test. And um, if you sit for that test, uh, you have quite a lot of opportunities to do different things. You can enter shows, you can, you can gain the respect of, of uh, people in the bonsai world, and you'll be recognized as someone having skill. And then if you have uh, done for 10 years, then you can sit for the master level test, which is insanely difficult. Uh, so you will, if you come to Korea and you start to, to study, you will study all the basics and then you will also receive, uh, when your master thinks you're ready, a book which is like the Bonsai Bible basically. And you will be told to study that because that's the example uh, kind of questions as well that will be coming out in the test. So you should know that very well. Uh, it covers all things uh, basic horticulture. It will cover the history of bonsai in Korea. It will cover uh, techniques. It will cover wiring. It will cover repotting times. It will cover diseases. It covers a lot of things so that's quite a challenge uh, the book is only available in Korean that's why having to know another language I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same in Japan pretty sure it's going to be the same in China most of these things they're only available in the local language so learning a local language well the language of the country that you want to go to is really important um, and then the actual test for the level that I set is uh, 90 minutes and then 90 minutes. So there's a written test which makes sure that you know everything uh, to keep trees in perfect health and uh, to know diseases, watering, repotting, all these kinds of things. Uh, there are 100 questions and you have 90 minutes. That means you have less than a minute to answer each question yes very very easy um, and they are broken into four sections so one section will cover some basics and history and then another will cover disease and then another will cover uh, basic uh, the, the bonsai techniques and uh, then you can choose between aesthetics and landscaping there are two in there because um, often bonsai is done as uh, part of a, a larger field of study. Uh, so that's the basics. Uh, um, if you have any further questions, you can write them under the video. And uh, I think that basically covers it. So in my case, I came to Korea as a teacher 
and uh, obviously there's quite a lot of stress involved in the teaching profession and I thought well you know seeing as bonsai is something I've always wanted to do let me start doing it here because it's it's kind of mainstream and uh, I started and then I found an awesome teacher who was willing to teach me and uh, who had a lot of knowledge and was a very friendly person so I'm very very grateful to Master Kim Yong Jong for uh, teaching me a lot of skills and you know obviously like any noob I thought well I know something about trees and it turns out well when you start under a master you realize how really little you do know so it's quite humbling uh, in a good way and uh, yeah, that's that's basically my story, and I've come up to here, and I've sat for the test, and I've passed, and you know, um, it's uh, it's good. So if you have any questions, you can write them underneath the video, and uh, I will respond hopefully if I get time. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to and trying to increase the quality of teaching bonsai in Korea and hopefully doing an English course or something like that in Korea. So if you're interested in something like that or if you are interested in importing trees from Korea into your country, uh, we have some awesome, awesome trees. We send to Japan all the time. They love our trees, Korean hornbeam, lots of different beautiful trees that we have. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, you can also contact me and I am on Instagram as well at Kamoji Bonsai. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, write them in the video and have an awesome day.